Hi and welcome to rjpassini.com. My name is Rich Bassini. Today is August 15th, 2018. Thanks for tuning in. As a lot of you may know, the, for the new subscribers and the ones that have been have been subscribed for a while now, um, I've mentioned many times before that I do plan on uh, you know changing up the uh, my YouTube channel by doing different things, adding different uh, topics, different videos. Not necessarily it's always the reseller news, although I will be doing a reseller news. So don't think I'm giving up on all. I'm giving up uh, that altogether. Of course, I'm not. So um, <clears throat> I just wanted to just you know give a little you know a little information, a little heads up as to what will be coming up as time goes on, and. Uh, I hope you guys that are subscribed to me will stay subscribed. I hope to get more new subscribers, and um, you know it, we'll keep. We'll, I'm going to try to keep this content uh, on the channel fresh by doing different things. You know, talking about just being spontaneous. You know, um, you know if I'm going to get a new laptop today, I want to make a video about it, or if I'm going to upgrade my cameras, my digital video cameras, or whatever, or. A new a new product came out. I want to you know maybe you know and not endorse it, but talk about it. You know, um, I want to do different things with this channel. I want to keep it interesting. I want you guys to keep coming back for more. You know, um, you may find certain things interesting. You may not, but you'll never know. That's why I would like you guys to uh, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell button there, and this way when I do pr uh, produce new videos, um, you guys will be updated when they come out. Um, I also just joined the. Uh, I didn't even know they had it. <laughs> Uh, YouTube has a thing called the Creators Club. Um, I think Creators Club or Creators Hub, whatever, one of them. Uh, it is a Creators Club, something like that. Anyway, I joined it. Uh, I started a group, a club. And, uh, you know, it goes by rjpassini.com. Well, actually, the uh, title, the name it is, goes to Richard J. Pacini, but uh, I started this Creators Club uh, group. And uh, I'm hoping to get some feedback on it. Um, it's basically a group where a lot of uh, creators will collaborate there, that will share their ideas, um, talk a little about you know what they're going through. Uh, you're allowed to post certain things. They don't want spamming. Uh, they don't want anything, you know, any type of hate uh, clubs going on there. They don't want you know. If you, re you read their uh, rules and regulations to join that club, you could start a club. Uh, it's pretty good, um, and I'm glad I joined it. Uh, you know, because basically it's for YouTube creators, you know, so if you are a YouTube creator and you want to join it, uh, I recommend you do, you know, you can get some tips from it. I know a lot of people may say, yeah, why join? You can just go on YouTube to find out any information you need, but it's always nice to have a group where you can collaborate with other creators. Uh, not that I'm saying you can't do it off other YouTube channels, you can, you know, by subscribing to them. But um, yeah, I'm doing that there. Like I said, I, I joined that uh, and I'm going to be doing, like I said, I'm going to be doing different videos like I, like I said it may just be spontaneous might be spur of the moment um, I might do a product review I might do a, a sneak peek video or a demo video or an intro video whatever as I've been doing in the past uh, I want it like I said again I want it, I want to do different things with this channel you know uh, I am I, I, I do want to build up my subscriber base there's no doubt about it and the only way I could do that folks is by you out there who land on my channel uh, will subscribe to it you know, the more subscribers I get, it builds up my morale. Um, I've been watching other videos where YouTube creators <clears throat> will talk about uh, when you're when you get when you have subscribers, and then you get you find out later on some people unsubscribe to your channel. It kind of makes you feel blasé. It's like, oh, you feel so oof, like, why did it happen? What did I do? You know, um, people will just unsubscribe for no reason. They may not like your content. Uh, maybe they're not too crazy about the topics you talk about. Who knows? I don't know. You know, uh, maybe they might not might not like an individual. You know, they might not they might not particularly care for your type of uh, YouTube you know creation that you're doing here. Maybe maybe the videos ain't good enough uh, to you know keep them captive to to hold their attention. So um, you know, my I gotta say one thing though. I'll, I'll be honest with you. When I started this YouTube channel. Uh, I really, I, it started back, I think, in July 27th of 2014. You know, it was one of those things, you register your channel, you know, you sign up for it with YouTube, but you never do anything with it. Because a lot of people may say, wait a minute, you started in 2014 and you only got 306 um, subscribers or 305, well, I think it's 306 right now. Um, that's all you have since that time. 
you folks, you got to understand something. First off, I was working full time. Okay, the reason why I'm I'm, I'm more into it now. Uh, for those who don't know, back in June of 2016, my company had a layoff, and a thousand of our jobs went overseas. So, with that in mind, I'm doing eBay and YouTube at the same time. Okay, uh, that's how I got into it. I'm I'm, I'm able to do this right now. Uh, I can contribute more time to it because I am doing this on a full-time, well, pretty much a full-time basis. It does take a long time to uh, produce, create uh, you know, a YouTube video because, like I said, the software I use, I use basic software. I'm using, like I said, Filmora, one this year by one this share, and I also use Cyberlink PowerDirector 14. Yeah, I incorporate them sometimes. I'll take one little bit of information from one. Uh, uh, yeah, editing software and maybe import it over to Filmora and then I'll combine them together and I'll make a you know a decent video. Uh, I'm learning, I'm still in the learning phase. So uh, even though I've been doing this a little over a year and a half as far as like making videos, uh, it does take time. So uh, I am still, like I said, you know, picking up ideas from other creators. I'm trying to, you know, like I said again, establish a nice subscription base. Uh, it's very hard to be honest with you folks for those who are uh, going out there I'm not experienced by the way youtuber so I don't want you to think oh this guy thinks of course he's got, he got over 300 subscribers that's peanuts today <laughs> uh, there's one person out there that's pretty popular he's got 65 million subscribers okay um, I'm just saying I'm not saying I'm gonna get to that there that would be nice but you know uh, I'm not saying as a, you know because I, I got where I am uh, through experience I got through you know doing this here uh, hopefully to make it grow but at the same time when I first started this channel uh, you know getting into it heavy I never thought I would even get the amount of subscribers I have now and I'm very grateful to the subscribers to let you know for those out there who are new subscribers and to the ones that are current and are hanging in there with me uh, I do definitely appreciate it you know but um, it does um, but it does put you uh, in a very down mood uh, when you start seeing your subscribers bumping off and you drop it off one by one. There was one time I lost, I don't know, maybe two or three in one day. And, uh, you know, you go on your channel and you look and say, oh, God, I can't believe I lost those people, you know. I lost those subscribers. And, you know, you don't know what for, you know. They don't really tell you, uh, you know. I guess it would probably be kind of a, candace, a callous thing to say, Oh, I, the reason why I bumped off your subscriber, you know, you're unsubscribed from your channel is because uh, I don't like your content. Or I don't like you. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe you're better off not knowing uh, the reason why. But um, it, it would be nice in the sense that uh, if they could just leave a nice comment and say, well, you know, uh, the reason why I unsubscribe to your channel is because um, it's not something I thought it was. I, the content is not really for me. The, the topics you're getting involved with, uh, I don't really hold an interest in it, you know. But you're not going to get people to do that. I mean, let's face the facts. I mean, um, I myself, if I had to unsubscribe from, to somebody, uh, I don't know if I'd be right up front and say, well, you know, I don't really care for your, for your content you're putting out. So in a way, maybe it's best it stays like that old saying, no news is good news. Um, but yeah, and, and, and it, put me, it kind of made me feel bummed out. There was times I felt like just giving up on it and saying to myself, you know what? I don't know if I want to do YouTube anymore. I don't know. I, I don't think I'm ever going to get this, this YouTube channel up. I can't, I'm trying to, uh, I just, in my creators club, uh, the one I just joined today, uh, I was putting out there, you know, trying to hit that thousand subscriber mark is hard. And, um, you know, because because of the fluctuation of my the subscribers, they go up, they go down. I don't know if I'll ever get past 320. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't even know if I'll, I'll, I, mean, I don't know if I'll get to ever 400, whatever. Uh, I know it's a, it takes a lot of work. Um, there are people out there that that are far better creators than I am. I have to admit, they come out with better videos. I'm trying to learn special effects. I'm trying to think of different things, conjure up ideas where, you know, I would keep it interesting. You know, having a YouTube channel, folks, the way I look at it, and maybe I'm wrong, but you know, today, YouTube versus TV. And I believe, I, I can't swear to it, the statistics, but I think there are more people, I thought I heard this, there are more people watching YouTube than they do television. And I'm gonna be honest with you folks, I am one of those people. I watch 99.9% .9 of my time is spent on a computer, and well, on a computer time, but I also spent quite a bit of time on YouTube learning, researching, uh, listen to what other creators talk about. Uh, I also do the reseller news. 
You know, so I want to listen to what other people have to say about certain topics when it deals with eBay, Amazon, or Etsy, whatever. Um, you know, I'm picking little bits of information all over the place. And then I either write it down or I'll go to, you know, I'll, I'll deal with my eBay, um, eBay, my Google Alerts that deal with eBay, Amazon. And I usually get them on a daily basis in some cases. Um, and that's why I put up the, that's why I end up getting the reseller news out there, folks. But, um, yeah, it, it's, you know, YouTube, it, it could be a nice thing. Um, I really would love to have thousands, hundreds of thousands and millions of subscribers like that, that one person there has got. Uh, but the thing is, you know, it takes a long time to get like that. And you got to put out creative, you know, you got to be very creative with this here. But, you know, there's an old saying, do what you love to do and the money will follow. That's just a saying, you know. But um, this is one of my passions. I love creating videos. Uh, I do love selling on eBay or any e-commerce platform, to be honest with you. Um, I like the idea of being... Uh, basically right now self-employed uh, and doing my thing you know do my own thing um, I would never be able to get to this point by having a lot of debt uh, that's why I said in many other videos um, the reason why I'm able to do certain things where it's not so costly is because I don't have any credit card debt okay uh, before I before thank God before I lost my job uh, due to a layoff uh, I made sure the car payment with the car had no more car payments on it uh, the credit card I had, I only had one credit card at the time, I made sure that was paid off and then I closed the account. So basically, people might say, well, so you don't have any credit card whatsoever. I had what you call a secured MasterCard through my credit union. Um, what I like about it, I know it sounds crazy what you're about to say, uh, probably you think about it, but with the credit card, with the secured MasterCard is, you start an account with 250 bucks. That's the lowest you could start it off with, okay? And it's good for people that have bad credit or little or no credit you know and you want to start building up your credit history that is the best way to go folks is with a secured mastercard that's what i have it's my credit union and um you know i know 250 dollars credit line today is is nothing i mean people could blow through that probably in a week some people could probably blow through it in a couple of days but the thing is what i like about it is it controls your spending and you're able to you know monitor how you how you pay your bills and stuff like that uh, it also shows the credit bureaus that um, you're credit worthy uh, and the payments are cheap uh, why if I spend the whole $250 credit line my monthly payments $15 a month now here's the thing you're not subjected or, or compelled to stay at a $250 credit line you could put like from what they told me that my banker told me at my credit union you could put as much money you want there if you want to you want to increase it to 500 or a thousand dollars or two thousand or three thousand it's your money you're putting in there you can put as much as you want 250 dollars is the credit line that's the limit they want you to go they don't go any lower than that but then again who would want a low secured credit card anyway what are you gonna have uh, I got $50 credit line in here I mean you know what I'm saying so 250 dollars is a good way to start but um you know that's I know I'm kind of curtailing off into that topic but the thing is, you know, that's the only reason I brought it up is because people probably want to account able to do this, is because I have little to no credit card, no, no debt in that respect. Uh, outside of the other bills you have, you know, your utilities and everything else, cell phone bills or whatever, which I don't really have a cell phone bill, by the way. I have a prepaid with T-Mobile, so uh, that's another thing that helps me save money. Every three months you can put $10 on your, car, on your card. You don't get much talk time, but you are able to text uh, my, my prepaid T-Mobile card. Uh, phone it's an iPhone 5s I got um, I use it for emergency purposes plus when you go into thrift stores they have the free Wi-Fi in there you're not using any you, you don't need to go into a paid service uh, if I was to stick with T-Mobile and go into a paid service I think the cheapest one they have is $55 a month and for those who know me I am the frugal entrepreneur I do not like any monthly debt and that's one thing I don't need so for me the $10 every 90 days it pays off uh, I like it and it, it's been working for me. I've been with T-Mobile now for almost 10 years. Never had a problem with them, no drop calls, no problem. Customer service is ace all the way for me anyway. I never had any problem with them. I'm based on my own experiences with them. So other people may be out there that have T-Mobile say they stink, they suck. I would never buy with them. I hate them, whatever. I like them. I have no problem with them. I think they're great. But anyway, uh, that's how I'm able to do what I do right now, folks. Um, because of you know the low credit card you know no no really debt load big debt load um but again
getting back to you know selling on eBay and, and doing a YouTube channel in conjunction with one another it gets a little it gets a little uh, time consuming to be honest with you the most important thing that well I should say the most time consuming thing outside of doing your listings I haven't been listing for a while folks too by the way I just want to let you know that I haven't been doing any uh, sourcing the most time consuming thing though with creating a YouTube channel is the video editing I mean I think a lot of creators will tell you it does take a lot of time to you know cut out things edit I had to patch things in I did video blue uh, what do you call uh, bloopers <laughs> where I've been doing videos before of course they got uploaded and uh, you're sitting there doing it you know doing a video and then all of a sudden you come out and your work gets twisted around so now you got to stop take that part out cut it redo it again pick up where you left off and it's it's a whole time consuming thing and it, it really is it really does it takes so much time to um, do these videos and let alone the longer the video the longer it takes for me to uh, when I use my software video editing software to convert that into uh, an MPEG file or whatever or you know uh, the um, the one they use there, what is it, 4K or 1080, whatever. You know, I think you know what I'm talking about, the format to get uploaded to YouTube. So that takes long. If I'm doing a 46 or an hour long uh, video, um, it takes, anyway, I clocked it the last time, it took me about two and a half hours to get it, just to upload it, convert it, and then uh, when it got to YouTube, I don't know, maybe another, maybe half hour, I think, to upload it, you know? So it does take a long time to do these videos. Uh, and the only reason why I'm able to do videos now is because, like I said, uh, eBay is slow. So in between, you know, I could got I got the time to do it, right? So that's that's one of the uh, things I have going on here right now. But um, if I was very busy, people may say, well, if you were very busy with eBay, you had a lot of orders to give out, and you didn't have the time in the day to do it. Would you still do YouTube videos? Absolutely. I will find somehow, sometime, I will have to squeeze it in there. If I have to stay up to the wee hours in the morning to do it, I will do it in some cases. If, it, it's, if it's deemed necessary, I will definitely do it. I will definitely make videos. Um, you know, that's one thing I will say. Uh, if I could turn this YouTube channel into a successful channel where it could generate an income right now, I'm not monetized. I made the I passed the 4,000 hour watch time. It's just the uh, what do you call subscribers. I can't get that thousand subscribers, but. Um, to be honest with you, if I could make this where it's profitable to make the uh, make the YouTube channel successful, where it can earn an income and earn make a living out of it, I would do this and drop eBay in a heartbeat. <laughs> First off, you know with eBay it's a little more involved. You got to go out and source. You got to deal with the customers. You got to wrap your packages, ship them out, this, that, and the other thing. It's more involved than in, the, in some respects than it is to have a YouTube channel. But um, that's what my goal is right now: is to create a web page, a good, a good based uh, YouTube channel, and uh, to get more subscribers to it. And I, I think, like I said, if people do uh, subscribe to my channel, even if you don't want to see all the videos I put out, uh, I wouldn't unnecessarily subscribe. I guess that's what happens. Maybe I'm putting out too many videos. And I think what happens is I think people get tired of getting little notifications there. Oh, you know, someone so put another video out like, oh, not again, not this guy. You know, I know um, I do subscribe to quite a few people. Maybe have about a handful, maybe two handfuls with them, maybe ten or so. And uh, whenever they're pulling stuff out, I get the little notifications coming up on my screen. But I don't, you know, the thing is I won't unsubscribe to them. Uh, what I do is I'll just X out of it and I'll watch it later on when I get the free time But I really very rarely would I don't even think the thought has entered my mind to unsubscribe to them, you know um, You know, I, that's just who I am. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a straight shooter. I'm fair uh, I, I look at the way they must look at on their end uh, You know, I guess a person that's got 65 million subscribers unless they catalog that that that, that what do you call it, the amount of subscribers they got in there. I think if they lose a couple here or there, 50 or 100, whatever, I don't think it's gonna make a big difference, especially when you got a, a subscriber base of over 65 million plus people. Uh, I don't think it's gonna make a big difference. I think when you get to that level, I think you're way okay. I think you're really ahead of the trend, you know, ahead of the line there, so to speak. So uh, for that, that's not bad. But anyway, um, with that going forward, I just wanted to share this video. Uh, it's about, you know, I live in Long Island, New York, um, on the East Coast. We may have a lot of crazy weather here, a lot of floods in certain parts of the city and stuff like that. I know it goes all over the place, but, um, you know, I, I pretty much don't always see this type of weather in the area. I'm, I'm more centralized in, uh, in Long Island. I'm not near the coast, near the water. 
Uh, I can just imagine what it must be like out there during stormy weather. Uh, but I just, I took my video camera out, walking around the neighborhood and shooting some shots and, of the clouds, you know, whether to get some areas of the clouds. And, um, you know, I just thought I'd share it with you guys out there. I don't know if people are going to want to watch the whole thing. It's about maybe seven or eight minutes long. You know, talk a little about it in the video. And uh, I just thought I'd share it with you guys. So um, if you get anything out of it, you know, you want to check it out, that's great. If not, that's fine. I really do appreciate you uh, stopping by anyway. Um, I do hope uh, if you do like my channel and you see my other videos, please subscribe, uh, give it a thumbs up, and if you do want to be updated on things, hit that bell, you know, notification bell on there, and you'll be, you know, getting notifications as to when I put up videos. Uh, I am going to be covering different things. Like I said again, folks, it'll be, you know, spontaneous stuff, nothing uh, scripted. Uh, so to speak like in other words I'm not going to sit there like I said the reseller news that's going to probably be going on a daily basis I don't know if I'm going to get to it today I don't know I didn't check my uh, alerts but I will keep doing different things to keep this channel with fresh content and cover different topics and if there's anything that you guys want to talk about you want to share with me you know you want to collaborate with me anyway or some through Facebook or YouTube whatever I welcome all comments as long as they're nice no one's cursing me out, making fun of me, whatever. I have no problem responding to your comments. I really don't. So um, without further ado, I'm going to just, uh, you know, pop this video in there. Check it out if you get the chance. If not, that's fine. Um, you know, let me know what you think. Anyway, I will talk to you the next time. Have a great day and um, enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, enjoy it right now. It's sunny out. Yesterday we had, it came down like cats and dogs yesterday. Um, I think it was just, yeah, it did. And, um... It was crazy. But anyway, check it out. I'll talk to you guys soon. Have a, take care now. Have a great day. Bye. It's nice and sunny, right? Look at that. Look at over here. Look at those clouds coming in. You know something's up when the birds start flying. Look at that, look at those clouds. I'm over here on Long Island in uh, New York, and this is what we got going on, the clouds are coming. But if you look back there, you see the, uh, the sun, kind of bizarre weather. Let's walk in the front here, see what we got. I hope we don't have no twisters touching down here. I'll have to see if my viewfinder here. Clouds are moving in. Get back there. These clouds coming in, folks. They're coming in. Getting windy before the storm. It's still sunny out. Look at that. That's a nice sky. Look at that. Look at those clouds. Awesome, huh? Let's take a still. Let's take a still picture of that. getting cool out now folks humidity just dropped humidity just dropped I mean it is cool it really got cool out folks look at those cloud formation look at that look at that cloud formation you hear the thunder in the background 
and yet you got over there when you pan it this way you got some sunlight still breaking through look at that look at the clouds huh no trickles yet really seen heavy duty clouds like that these are kind of like a funny cloud formation you know look at that Those clouds up there. Look at that. Now it's starting to feel like trickle. Look at that. It's funny how the birds, they all know how to take cover. Look at that. Nature, they know when something's coming up. They know when something's coming up, dude. And the lightning's coming in the background. It got cooled out. I hope we don't have it. I hope this doesn't lead us to a twister. Back over there. I'm trying to get the one back there. Yeah, look at those clouds there. Yeah. It's like a yellowish, or like a yellow tint to it. See it? And about the trees over there. It's like a yellowish tint. Yeah. yeah so far, a little light trickle. Clouds back there. Uh, my camera out here too long, but I don't want it to get wet. You can see on the side there, there's some breaks of sun over there, some clouds, some blue sky. Back there, there's some blue sky too. I'm moving it around. <clears throat> over here, whatever it is, it's passing though. I mean, it looks like it's anyway. Uh, that's what we got going on here. Passing through. 